Hi everyone, so in this video you will learn how to use TypeScript with Webpack. So let's create a folder structure first. Open this folder in the Visual Studio code. So first folder which we need inside this, that will be source folder. Inside this source folder we will have index.html. Now we need one more folder that will be js and we'll have two files inside this the first will be index.js and the second file will be employee.js this file will basically export the employee object now we need a webpack config file in the root of this folder so let's make it just move this part we don't need it here yeah, it should be so it will be webpack.config.js now let's put basic configuration here go to google type webpack open this web page so this is the bare minimum configuration you need so just copy this part paste it here and in the index.html we need some html code that will be the code we need a script tag so just take this tag and paste it here so the folder which will generate that will be here somewhere in the root so we need to go a little back this we have to do this that's it save it in the config the entry will be in the js folder index.js that's it and this is the output so as i told you the output will be somewhere here dist bundle.js so dist folder will be created and there will be a file bundle.js and we are referring that file in this index.html now let's create an employee object and export it so to export it we need to make use of export keyword it will be a default export and it will be a class and we'll make it employee we'll have one function here and that will be print name or get name something like this uh, let's make it print name we will take a parameter that will be name we'll make use of console log and print that name with the hello world great now let's import this class here so it will be import employee from this employee file so let's make use of it let's call that function which is print name let's make it peter that's it so this is our index file this is our employee file now everything is done but in your case you have to install webpack and webpack cli i have already done so but just to let you know how to do that make use of npm install webpack and webpack hyphen cli dash dash save dev this command you have to run after doing that the webpack will be installed then you can make use of webpack in the watch mode so just press the enter now you can see we're getting a warning here mod option has not been set so just cancel this here go to config file and mode can be production or development in this case i'll make it production okay save it now run it again good 
So we got a dist folder with a file in it. So let's run this index.html. I have already installed a live server extension. So when you install that extension in the Visual Studio code, you will get this option over the HTML. Just click on this and you will see this file will be opened in the browser. In the console, you can see the name. Let's change the name here in the index.js. Let's make it marks. Save it. And you can see it's updated in the real time due to this webpack watch mode. So far, everything is good in case of JavaScript file. But the main goal of this video is to make use of TypeScript files. For that, just cancel this first. And we need to install a TS loader, which is a plugin for the webpack. And we have to install TypeScript. So let's make it npm install TypeScript TS loader. I will save them as dev dependencies. Now just run this command. TypeScript will be installed as a TS loader too. Great. Now we need a TS config file. For that, we'll make use of TSC command dash dash. So this is a TypeScript configuration file. It's time to make changes to the webpack config file. So in this file, so basically we need to let webpack know what kind of file you want to load as a module. So we'll make use of resolve property. And in the extensions, we have to specify the file types. So first is obvious, it will be a JavaScript file. And there will be a ts file and there is another type that is tsx in case you are making use of gsx in a typescript file it's time to make use of ts loader in the config file to load the typescript files so we have to make use of module property here and there will be rules property in here we have to specify a TS loader. So we wanted to match all the TypeScript extension files. For that we have to make use of regular expression. So it will be like this. Dot TSX question mark forward slash. That's it. Now we want to use TypeScript loader, which is TS loader. We need to specify it here. We should exclude all the files which are inside this node modules folder. So we'll make use of exclude property here and put node modules. That's it. Let's put a comma here. Save this here. So instead of JS, we have to make use of TS. Okay, now let's go to this JS folder and change the extension. Make it TS. This one also. Make it TS. Great. And here you can see we are getting this error. Let's make it string. Now save it. Type here again a pack. In the watch mode great compilation is done we got a file here go to browser so it's working pretty much perfect let's make a change here and see if it works or not so it's working absolutely fine so this is the basic setting which you have to use to load typescript files or you can say to use typescript files with the webpack you need to make use of this resolve property so that you can resolve all the extensions which are related to TypeScript in this case TS and TSX. You have to make use of TS loader here with the help of module property. 
put your rule, put your regular expression, put the loader, exclude the node folder and just save it and make sure you change the extension to .ts of your all files. I hope you got the point how it actually works. See you in the next video. Have a nice day.